buddy nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for dan dan chapter 43 so before i get into this recap and live reaction let me just remind you to hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and i'm just on a non-stop high speed struggle chain heading into chaos and mm, it's getting faster by the second we're talking hyperspace panic attack levels of struggle up and yeah seriously i can barely afford a roof over my head right now it is that bad but but if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit on my cash up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, um, we're in a very interesting situation. So we know how to defeat the worm. We need a sunny day attack. Well, we need sunlight. Or so oh my god, solar beam would be amazing right now. Which we don't have. But um, Momo's out of the hole thanks to Ogoron. So she's going to take care of that. Well, um, of course, Ogre, I'm going to take care of Gigi, but I don't know if this is going to work if like, um, in, uh, um, Curry God, you know, Val Hallen was like, uh, with that situation with Spartacus. Dude, if that ends up happening, I'm going to die. I swear to God. Oh my God. Actually, you know what? I kind of want that to be honest. Um, <laughs> seriously, go read Curry God, you it is fucking amazing. If you haven't re uh, read it yet. Anyways, uh, let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us this week. Here we go. So this chapter is titled, You Won't Get Away With This. Here we go. There's the before. And there's the after. Of the house. Getting fucked up. By Gigi. Yeah, Keith. Dude, I don't know what is going on with this cat. Oh, we're playing soccer up in here. Well, let's be real. That's a commonality going on between the evil eye and, and Gigi. They both want, the evil eye wanted to play soccer. And now he's getting to. And Gigi loves soccer. Dude, this art is amazing. Dude. This panel of Gigi kicking this wall. Love. Love. Uh oh. There's the fist. He missed. Dude, I just love. This is so brilliant because remember, this is um, going back to uh, when Gigi and Okarun were, you know, just kicking the ball around um, and talking about Momo. I love this throwback to it. I it's so cool. But it's more extreme, obviously. Ooh! Dude. I can't take how swole Gigi is right now. I can't take it. It's always the special sparkles. Always the special sparkles. Damn. Shweisha, I wish you would just fucking, well, Shweisha slash Manga Plus, I wish you would just sponsor me already so I can show the panels. It would be so much easier. But alas, I can't. God damn it, I wish I could. That means a copyright strike, which I don't want, which I really don't need. Don't need that in my life. God damn. Shit, they should be spot. I've been preaching the word of Manga Plus for a minute. I don't understand it. Bam, I don't understand it. <laughs> Ooh. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay. Tatsu, we need to talk about this. This anatomical art for, um, for Gigi... Just throughout this fight, this, uh, part of me wants to say this is better, at uh, this fight between um, Gigi and Ogoron, part of me wants to say this might be better than what I've been seeing out of um, Dragon Ball Super and, and Boruto. And it's not just in terms of the anatomical art. It's also in terms 
of uh, of movement, of fluidity. It just is so beautiful. I think it actually might be better. And hold on, I'm, I got to think about this for a sec. I know it's better than 100 Years Quest. I'm trying. I'm trying to like really think about this, comparing it to Dragon Ball Super and um, and Boruto for a minute. Yeah. Oh yes. Even my even Zeno agrees. This I think what we're getting here is better in terms. Again, I'm talking about in terms of anatomical art. And in terms of movement, um, and that's like in terms of like body positioning, in terms of fluidity, and anatomical, you know, anatomical art is in terms of body positioning as well. And that's both in anatomical positioning, anatomical art, and movement. In terms of fluidity, in terms of movement, and all that. I think this might be better than what we've been seeing in some of the fights, or in, if not the majority of the fights, in Dragon Ball Super and Boruto manga. I really honestly believe it. Just looking at this, looking at this fight between Gigi and, um, and Okura, just look at how fluid this is. It's just so goddamn beautiful. And I'm... I can't compare it to like something like Kuragani no Valhallen or um, let's see, or Sears is again, or Record of Ragnarok. I can't compare it to that because of how um, the art style is for like those series and for One Punch Man. I can't compare it to those. I, I feel like comparing it to like Dragon Ball Super and Boruto feels right. Jujutsu Kaisen I can compare it to too, but Jujutsu Kaisen's fights are pretty goddamn fluid. So, and the anatomical art is, uh, the anatomical art is, um, is good too. Would I say this is up there with Jujutsu Kaisen's art? I think the difference between the, I think this is definitely up there with Jujutsu Kaisen's art. The thing is with Jujutsu Kaisen's art that Gege does is there's more, um, What's the word I'm looking for? There's more abstractness going on, but I'm talking, I'm going to more so refer to like the, the anatomical and body movement um, and fluidity. I really think, um, or movement slash fluidity. I think this is honestly up there with um, Jujutsu Kaisen. I really do. The only difference, and this is why I gotta include the abstractness for a second here, I think um, this, I think this might be just a little bit cleaner, but that's because Jujutsu Kaisen, as I said, is more abstract than um, than Dana Dan, even though Dana Dan is pretty abstract. But in terms of fights, Jujutsu Kaisen is definitely more abstract than this one. Um, same goes for Chainsaw Man. Same goes for Chainsaw Man for sure. But god damn. Damn. It's so crazy that this fight, just looking at this, seeing how much better the fighting is between um, this and, like, again, talking about anatomical art, talking about movement, fluidity, just seeing how much better this is than what we've been seeing in Dragon Ball Super and Borto. That those are monthly series and this is a weekly series it's just really insane it shows you how talented tatsu is as an artist too but god damn damn it's really kind of it's kind of sad too on their on their part too and again i'm not i'm not hating on board i'm not hating on barto i'm not hating on dragon ball super because i love those series a lot i been covering them for a long time but it's and I'm not saying the art is bad but I'm just comparing it to it 
and just looking at this, it's, it's kind of like, I wish this art, I wish this movement and this fluidity was in those mangas. It's just something, it would just, especially in Dragon Ball Super, it would make it so much better. God, I wish this was up in there. If you were reading Dragon Ball Super, especially if you're, and also if you're reading Boruto, I want to know what you guys think. Cause I think that's what those mangas are really lacking in terms of art. I really, really do. Right, Kitty? Oh God. And then look at the stomp here with, uh, with Gigi, like, like just giving that stomp and the energy and the pressure. God, I wish this wasn't, especially in Dragon Ball Super. Even Zeno agrees, right, Kitties? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. There goes the pu Look at that punch. Oh, okay. Now I talked about the art for, gushed about the art for a second. I'm just, my ADHD is running wild. But anyways. The way you're bouncing around in an attempt to run away is really annoying. God, these backgrounds are giving me life. But that's fine. I like to take my game seriously and use my entire body to the fullest. Where is this in Dragon Ball? Where is this in Dragon Ball Super? I swear to God. Here we go. Let's see. But that's fine. I like to take my game seriously and use my entire body to the fullest. God damn. Hatsu, I love you so much for this. That worm's poison is having a bit of an effect on this vessel. Unfortunately, we'll have to stop here. Ooh. Oh, this box. Is that like a box made out of souls? Oh my God, that is fucking gorgeous. Dude, this is a box made out of souls. It's gotta be, I wonder if it's a box made out of the souls that were sacrificed or something. Uh, you will never escape that cursed house. I'm home. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. God, how invigorating. After you, it's the girl's turn. I'll torment and torture that soft skin. Ooh. Ooh, you push that button. Stop talking already. You've done three things you should never have. First, you hurt Momo-chan. Second, you defiled Gigi. Gigi would never hurt Momo-chan. Never. Give him back. Give me my husband. Oh my God. Give me back my dear friend. This is Brodus. 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 Dude, Gigi is a pro. Yes. Dude. Yes, the kid gloves are off. No more Mr. Nice Guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ooh. And third thing you shouldn't have done is piss me off. It's damn depressing, dude. This pose. Ah, uh, it's damn depressing. This. <laughs> this pose is boss. Look at this pose, dude. Miss Ayase, help! Oh. Dude. Gigi, dude. This is boss. This chapter is fucking boss. The writing, the art. Ogron, boss, boss, boss. This is the boss bro right here. He fucking went off and I live. Toyotaro, watch the fuck out. Watch the fuck out. He coming for you. Gege, watch the fuck out. Watch the fuck out. I said this about this manga when I started covering it. I said Dandadan is the new Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, bitch it is. This is the, the new Jujutsu Kaisen. This art really is going for it. I love that Tatsu going for it with this art. Oh my God. This movement, like I've said this about this movement and this art just really being fantastic. But like just the more that I think about it, oh my God, I love it so much. I do. Fucking do. Oh my 
God. I love it. I'm telling you. Watch out when this manga gets an anime. Oh, bitch. You think Jujutsu Kaisen popular now? Oh, bitch. When Dandadan gets an anime? Oh, motherfucker, beware. Be the fuck where. Dandadan, when it gets an anime adaptation, I'm saying when, because it will. It, oh, God. You think Jujutsu Kaisen popular now? Dandadan will take the world by storm. Oh, damn straight. I'm telling you right. People are saying, let Mappa do it. No, fuck that. Do not let Mappa touch this. No, 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 no. No. The team that is animating, that does uh, the adaptation of Studio Bones, uh, um, uh, yeah, the team that does Mob Psycho 100 at Studio Bones should have this one. They should. But, God, just looking at this detail, oh, part of me doesn't want them to do it because they don't do anatomical art very well. Part of me wants to just say fuck it and let, I, let IG Productions handle this. Hmm. I kind of want, I, yeah, I kind of want the team that does the art, that does, um, Fully Cooly to do this at IG Productions. I wouldn't mind them taking this too. Oh my god, I would not mind them either. Because if we, because remember, Fully Cooly does some really trippy ass shit. The only thing that worries me, and this is what worries me with, um, both IG Productions and with with Bones is that and I noticed it with Fena was that there's not enough line work or detailing especially in the anatomical art that worries me backgrounds are great and all that but the only reason why Mob Psycho 100 works for um at studio bones the way it does is because there's not that much detailing and um especially in the anatomical art but looking at this will be itch i'm very con oh man i'm concerned i kind of don't want bones that part of me doesn't want bones to touch it like looking at Gigi's art because <sighs> it is very 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 detailed <sighs> But we'll see. We'll see what happens. If David Productions gets it, I would not be mad either. Nah. But oh, JC staff better not touch it, and Mappa better not touch this shit. I will be fucking mad if those two studios get this one. I will not accept that. No. No, 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 no. Oh, Platinum Studios. No, Platinum Studios cannot touch it either. No. No, 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 no. I, I, oh, no, 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 no. I refuse. I fucking refuse. But anyways, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. I want to know if you guys see the same thing that I do with this. I think like in terms of, as I said, in terms of fighting art, I really think this is definitely outdoing Dragon Ball Super right now. And, to, and um and Boruto I'm just talking again I'm talking about anatomical and bot I'm talking about movement it just is working for me it really is it's really um I'm telling you Gage better watch the fuck out Dan Dan really coming it really is Dan Dan is just really really coming it's really doing it for especially for me I love love this manga um and what do you think about Okaran just stepping the fuck up the kid gloves are off and Gigi is his bro. I love the bro answer between Okran and Gigi. The broness is real. He did it for his bro. He did it for his bro. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Binsync. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and kick in so I can keep bringing you more fan to content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, Prime Mail, PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, nerdykins, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.